when a woman gets to a certain age, man, you have to understand that if she's single, even if she's been married or she hasn't been married, she's been through enough relationships where she's given up on relationships. Any woman who gets to a certain point is no good for a relationship unless you just bait a man or mangina who's ready to be in a situation where you're going to provide and protect the bra who ain't going to give you nothing in return. See, after a while, a woman is turned off from the prospect of failing at another relationship. And as men, we have to keep that in mind because when it all boils down, the one thing I can assure you is that at, after a certain point, a woman doesn't have what it takes to dedicate herself to any type of relationship anymore, man. When I heard this piece of content, man, I listened to it all the way through, man. It's about a four-minute video, man. Of course, we're going to listen to it and chop it down all the way through it. But I want y'all to understand, man, that we're not here to tear this chick down. We're here to clarify and verify that women are starting to admit a lot of the things that we talk about over here in the alpha sphere that other men tend to deny or act like don't exist or refute for whatever reason. But we've been knowing this already. So when we hear from the horse's mouth, it's just to validate to these guys, help these guys see that, man, it ain't just us talking, man. Women are starting to admit these things. And so you got to wrap your mind around that concept, man. And, you know, the bottom line is, man, if you dating a woman, man, women these days ain't dating one dude. So if you dating a woman, there's no need to try to compete with these other guys to be one that's going to win her over. And Because here's the thing. Once she gets the joy and thrill of dating multiple men, then it's just hard to believe that a woman is going to give all of that up, all of that validation up to be one man. Let's go to school. You know, I got to remember that whenever I post about with a boy, I always get an influx of messages from women that always say that they wish that they could do that. And I am trying to understand why you can't do it. Unless you are married or you have found your person that you want to spend your forever with, um, or you're engaged or whatever, those are the only reasons why dating multiple people at one time should stop you. Now, I want you to listen to what this chick is saying. She's saying that if you have not gotten a commitment from any man, then you should continue to date multiple men. See, the modern woman doesn't believe she has to prove, us, prove herself worthy of a commitment. How can a man ever look at you and say, okay, I want to be with this woman. I want to just settle down with this one woman. If the entire time you're dealing with that man, you're stressed so thin because you're giving pieces of yourself to all these other men. And don't sit and tell me that you're dating these men and you ain't having sex with none of them. If you're dating 10 men, you're having sex with at least three of them. That's just the bottom line. And, and, and one of them is the one you really want to be with. And when he ain't available, which he probably won't be available to you all the time because he has options, then you got two more that you're willing to link up with. See, if you're a woman listening to this bro, then you're going to end up just like her. She's about 35 years old. She's single. She's been through a slew of unsuccessful relationships. And now she's acting like she's happy, but deep down inside, she's bitter. The bottom line is no man is going to take you seriously if you don't take yourself seriously first. If you don't present yourself to a man as a woman who's worthy of that type of commitment, no man is going to give it to you except a big male sent man, Johnny. Let's keep listening, man. I am a champion and a believer of men and women dating multiple people at one time. That is legit what the definition of dating is. The only, only, only reason why you shouldn't date more than one person at one time. Actually, there's no reason. The only time that you shouldn't date multiple people at one time is um, after you have the conversation about exclusivity. See, what happens is women are poor judges of character. And after they're poor judges of character, they try to change those people in their lives with bad character. So they waste time in their lives in situations that will never work. Then on the back end, instead of owning up to the fact that they're poor judges of character and that they did just as much as the person they were involved with to ruin their opportunity to be who they want to be and live the life they want to live and have the situation that they want to live as far as relationship goes, they just point the finger all around and say, it's the men, it's the men, it's the men. All the men are bad. All men are dogs. All men are this. When in actuality, the three, four, five, six men you've been with don't count for any acknowledgeable percentage of men that are available in the world. You just made bad decisions. And now you want to tell other women, young women, 
to listen to bad decisions. Because ain't no woman in her 40s and 50s going to listen to you. You, you. She's a fool. Once you have a conversation about exclusivity, then you are only dating one person. But until that conversation happens, I, I, and I know it's a cultural thing. It's only a black people thing because white people don't think like this. Actually a shame because we do ourselves such a disservice when we do not date more than one person. At and I wish I could show y'all the actual post, man, where, you know, where she wrote beside the post, man. I wish I could show y'all that because that's where she talks about she was 35 years old, man, and she's been in and out of these relationships and blah. What she is is just a chick, man, that's run down now. She's run down mentally. She's run down physically. She's run down spiritually. She's run down emotionally. And now she just wants to do what she thought she should have done back then. Here, you got two kind of women in the world. You got those women who ride the carousel when they're young and then they get older and wonder why they can't get no man. Then you have these women who are in relationships when they're younger, but they're in relationships with men their age who don't want to be in relationships. Then they get mad when they get older and they try to ride the carousel when they're older. Those are the only two kind of women you got in the world. You got those two kind of women and you got virgins. That's it. That's why I tell you men all the time, just don't do that until you have virgin in your midst, man. Because here's the thing. A lot of this is coming from the energy of those men inside of her. This is why she sounds so discombobulated mentally and emotionally, where everything she's saying doesn't make sense. Because the energy of those men she's been with will never leave her. They are in her spirit. They are in her mind. They are in her body. It's just that. She's not an ugly girl. She can't stand why at 35 years old. She ain't never been able to get a man to commit to. So now what she's saying is even after all of that, all a man has to do is say, I give you the sun, the rain, the moon, the stars, and the mountain. I give you the world. And she said, okay, it's just me and you then. I am grown as f right? I am never going to ask another about no other woman he's dating ever my only concern is making sure that i am having a great time you're having a great time and if we like each other and we want to keep having a great time then we do so with each other that's my only concern the only time i am ever questioning or bringing up someone is obviously if my life is in danger or someone is sending me random texts or or messages on IG, then yeah, you know, we talk about that because that's that's different because now you've involved me in that situation. But other than that, baby, I don't care. And so we have a conversation about exclusivity. You for the streets just like me. Look at that. You for the streets just like me. Here's the thing about it. Why she wants to say, well, I'm this and so you're this too. Why she wants to say, well, I behave like this, you behave like this too, so we're all labeled the same. I do this and you do it too, so you're what I am. They don't want to accept the fact that there's a difference between men and women in all of these scenarios. They don't want to accept that. As a man, we can walk around with our shirt off. Woman can't do that. There's nothing that's the same about men and women, nothing. So when she says, I'm for the streets and you are too, here's a woman just saying, she knows she's for the streets. Now see, we don't even know what the parameters that uh, 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 that govern her breakups before. We don't know. She could have been cheating on every man she ever been with. We don't know that. Let's keep going. I tell you my favorite thing about being a woman and being an adult woman is that I have unlearned so much shit that I was inadvertently taught just through music, media, movies, society, culture, and then some familial things as well um, that I learned within my own family. But I'm just so happy. It's my favorite thing to do is to unlearn. Like, I do not want to project anything, any insecurity, any, any stigma. I don't want to project shit. Now, here's the thing. All she's projecting right now is insecurities. All she's projecting right now is stigma. All she's projecting right now is societal norms and expectations. All of the things she just said she doesn't want to project, she's projecting them and acting like she's not projecting them. She just says she's for the streets. That's a stigma. She just says she wants to break down all of the things she's been taught, all the things she's been taught about being a good woman, all the things she's been taught about not being a scary way, all the things she's been taught about not being a thought. All the things she's been taught about are carrying herself a certain way in a respectable, respectful manner. She wants to do away with all of those things. And all of the things that she's that she was taught by media and music 
And now she wants to trade all that stuff in for the current things that she's been taught about music and reading. Have as many men as you want. She sounds like a fan of Megan Thee Stallion. She sounds like a fan of Cardi B. She sounds like a fan of Saweetie. She sounds like a man of all of these chicks that are saying, I break dudes' pockets. I be with whoever men I want to be with. I dog them out. I treat them bad. I run through as many as I can. I get the I get the bag from them. And here's the sad thing about it. As you hear her go on, you're going to hear how she feels about getting the bag from a man as well. Let's keep going. Um, I don't even know if I'm having a children child, but I don't want to project that on kids if I have them. I don't want to project that on my friends. I just want to live whatever life they want to live as long as they are not putting other people's lives in danger. You know what I mean? I'm just such a proponent of dating and getting to know yourself, getting to know getting to See, she's 35 years old. Shout if you don't know yourself at 35, it's too late. Live whatever life you want to live. She doesn't want to be accountable for her actions. She doesn't want to have to stick to anything that's going to cause her to focus on being a certain way. She doesn't want to control herself. She doesn't want to control and be responsible for her actions. She just wants to fly and be free. The problem is she's 35 years old. This is the definition of wallbanger speak. Let's keep going. I love that all my homeboys are chiming in. Ladies, newsflash. Real don't care if you're dating somebody else. Real not intimidated by you dating somebody else. Shame the language. There we go. So because we don't want to deal with a woman that's spreading herself all around, we intimidate. No, nah, we're not intimidated. We're disgusted. Let's try to get on out here. I'm about tired of her. If I saw a guy out that I was hanging out with, right, um, and I was feeling him, I like him, right, and I see him with another woman, you better believe the next day, maybe two days later, I'm taking him out. Like, legitimately, what you're doing is looking busy. I want to take you to dinner. Or I want to take you to wherever I want to take you. Like, that yes. to me, it just serves as, I like a little healthy competition, child. So I don't mind you. There you go. I tell you men all the time, you cannot have just one woman because women want competition. You see how she just said she just, well, she just dated a bunch of guys and dated a bunch of guys, and she got, you know, this guy and that guy. She glad her homeboy chiming in. And women, I don't understand why you just date one man. But if she see a man that she dated and he out with another woman, you know what she want to do? She want to compete with the other woman for that man. You know why? Because that man presents value. That man presents an abundance mindset. Not just an abundance mindset. When she sees someone with another beautiful woman, that man presents an abundant life. Ooh, baby. Okay, well, since y'all here, let's talk about it. Liking, loving too fast. Let me tell you what that actually really is. When you like every single you hang out with, you fall in love with every single real quick. Um, that is likely, not all the time, but that is likely an emotion that you are feeling out of fear. That is a fear-based emotion. You are operating out of a mindset of scarcity because you just think that... Hey, well, this must be the one because I done been out here trying for 29 years and ain't nothing ever came back like this. Ain't never nothing huh. made me feel like this before. That could be it, but it could also be you're scared. So let me latch on real quick so don't nobody else get this feeling. Don't nobody ever, don't nobody else get this man. Or it's just that that scarcity mindset, baby. Let that shit go. Let that shit go. Oh, look at this projector. She's projecting. She's talking about what she used to do. Everybody she used to meet, she fell in love with. That represents a woman with low self-esteem. That represents a woman who's seeking validation from every man she meets. She needs too much male validation. Even back then, she needed more male validation than one man could give her. And right now, today, she's still saying she needs more male validation than one man can give her. She tells the woman, if you've been out here for 29 years, just keep on being a scallywag. You ain't got no business trying to settle down, talking about you love no man or none of that. No matter how good he is, you keep going. You keep riding carousel. I want y'all to keep in mind one thing. That no matter what these women say or what they do or what they try to project, the bottom line is the majority of women are lonely. And no matter how many men they date, they can't get rid of that loneliness. They're lonely. 
They're going to be lonely. They wish they had a man. And that's why a woman has to date so many men. Because it takes five or six to ten bigger male sent man giants to make one alpha king. And a lot of times, these women look back on their lives and they remember the alpha king that they should have been. But they were stuck on stupid, stuck on viewing men from the wrong perspective, and ended up jammed up in a spot like this. I want you men to remember one thing. The average woman out here is not geared, prepared, or mentally equipped to be a wife. I need to be